Father Clarence, you're here. I'm having a bit of car trouble with the old jalopy stalled out at the bottom of your drive. Car trouble? Oh, please, come in, come in. <laughs> that's, that's what happened to me and Zach last Christmas, remember? We, we got stuck in that terrible snowstorm on, on the way back to Pine Valley, and we found your chapel. Oh, yes. Mm. You reminded us how important we were to each other. You knew I needed help. That's why you came here. You've suffered a terrible loss. Yes, I have. Tonight is the night for miracles. And I need my miracle now. Can you help me? Can you stop this nightmare and make everything right again? Your husband's passing is a tragedy. I wish... No, 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 no. This, this was all to show me how important Zack is. And it has. I will never take anything with him for granted ever again. Just get him home. He missed Thanksgiving. And, and he missed Mike's play. He would want to be here tomorrow to open the presents with the boys. Please. Please, Father Clarence, I know you can do this. You've, you've always helped us, me and, and Bianca and Zach. You, you've always come through for us. You've been, helped us find our way when we were lost. I am so lost without my husband. A priest can only do so much. I counsel people. I talk to them when they're troubled. Once in a while, it helps if they listen to their own hearts. My heart is screaming for Zach. You loved him very much. I still love him. I will always love him. I forced him to help Ryan and Greenlee, and now... How is Greenlee? I don't want to talk about her, and I don't want to be her friend. I want more time with Zach. Unfortunately... We have no control over that. But I'm not ready to say goodbye. I can't let him go. You will always stay connected with Zack. Through the love you've shared, your memories, your children. That's what everyone keeps telling me, and I don't want to hear that. But, but, but don't listen to me. Listen to Zack. His message. What message? What are you talking about? Here? Is this the message? Father Clarence? Father Clarence? And then there's Fusion. You and Greenlee put so much into that place. At first I didn't get it. Can you really care that much about lipstick? But then I realized fusion is much more than a business for you two. It's where you get your bearings. Recharge, refocus. It's your fortress, your safe haven. It's where you find your way again. Greenlee, you've got to be kidding me. Kendall, can 
Little, the elevator's stuck. You have to get me out of here. I know you're angry, but I need your help. You know what being stuck in small places does to me? I'm begging you, Kendall. Please help me. Please. I need my friend. Kendall, are you there? Yeah. And now I'm leaving. Wait. Please. I don't know what Zach was talking about. This, this, is, this is not my safe haven. Not anymore. What? I said I never should have come here. There's no air. Okay, I'm the one who's suffocating here. Every time I turn around, there you are in my face. You and Ryan, smothering me with your happiness. Reminding me that I'm alone, and I will be alone forever. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that Zach is dead, and I'm sorry that he died trying to help me. Okay, just shut up, all right? Shut up. Your guilt and your apologies, they mean nothing. I want Zach. Bring my husband back. I can't. No, you can't. You can live your fairy tale with Ryan, and I can hope that someday I have a body to bury. I'm sorry. I want Zach. Bring my husband back. I love Zach too. If I could undo everything that happened, and take away your pain, I would, but I can't. There's no way that I can help you and it's killing me. I love you, Kendall. This place, the minute we set foot in this building, we hated each other, but working together, fighting together, crying together, surviving together. You're my best friend. I lost you. And you lost Zach. And it's all my fault. I wish it were me. I should be at the bottom of that river. And Zach should be with you. I wish I would have died instead of him. No, 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 Greenlee. I don't want you to die. I love you too. Can you please hurry? You think I want to be here tonight? <laughs> I just, my, my friend is claustrophobic and she got very quiet. Ah! Uh. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Thank you. Merry Christmas. You too. Okay, all right. Take some deep breaths, okay? Deep breaths. All right, Greenlee. Look at me. It's over. I feel horrible. Once again, you had to save me. I don't deserve it. Okay, what, what, do you want me to, I mean, should I, should I have left you there until New Year's? I meant what I said. It should have been me. No. No, don't say that. Don't say that, don't even think that. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. We're fine. You mean that? You didn't make Zach's plane go down. You're not the reason he's gone. This, this whole thing is just, it's hard. It's so hard, and I'm so angry. 
but I never should have blamed you. I'm sorry. I miss my friend. I miss you too. <laughs> this is all I wanted for Christmas. <laughs> so then, should I tell Ryan to bring your gifts back? No. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> You asked why Zach would send you here. What did it mean? I think he sent me here to find you. Think of it as a Christmas miracle. Hey. Hi. Dad. Hi. Oh. I'm a lucky man today. Erica. Oh, what the hell? Oh. I'm so happy you're here. Well, yeah, you seem happy. You seem very happy. I have a surprise for you. Okay. Are you, are you two? <laughs> We're friends again. Mom, be happy for me. An angel came tonight. He sent me to help Greenlee. Are you talking about Father Clarence? Father Clarence isn't the only angel. This angel was Zach. Our time at sea is almost over. But our time together will go on. No beginning, no end. Always.